What's up everyone, this is Richard from WP Reformer and I'm back with another amazing video to show you. So to always receive updates from us, just subscribe and tick the notification bell. So in this video, you will learn the fastest way of cleaning up your WordPress sites of unnecessary files and codes that make your site load very slow. So without further delay, let's get started with a tutorial. So I am now at the back end of my WordPress site. Actually, I'm using a subdomain for testing. So um, the first thing that we want to do in here is uh, for us to be able to clean up our WordPress site very fast is we need to head over to our plugin section under plugin on the left panel. Just click on add new. We will be adding new plugin. Okay. And we will be searching for WPS cleaner. Once you find the plugin, then just click on install and activate. So here we go. It's already uh, the plugin is already activated. So <clears throat> what you want to do uh, next is to head over to your to the setting of the plugin. Okay. So uh, first we need to find out where the plugin is so that we can open it up. Uh, let me double check. I'm pretty sure it's under tool. Here we go. So under tool. Once the plugin is completely active, activated, then go to Tools and click on WPS Cleaner. And click on that. On my end, I'm going to open it up on a new window or tab. So here we go. Just click on OK. It's noted. And here we go. Um, if you have or um, under here in this uh, Posts tab, so if you have uh, revisions, you can just clear it up. You can just click on this one, just like what I'm doing right now. It's cleaning, it's zero. And for auto draft, you can also click, uh, clear that one up. That's how easy it is for you to clean up uh, your WordPress site. So let's say I do, have, I do have Orphan Post Meta, so I can also clean that up. And for those deleted posts, you can also uh, clean that up, okay? It's uh, saved on the trash uh, tab or on the trash uh, section of your WordPress site. So you need to clean that one up if, if it is already deleted. So I'm also going to clean that one up. That's how easy on this part. You can just clean everything that is not necessary to you. So after that, you can also go to comments if there are some spam comments or unapproved comment. So you can also clean all of the unnecessary comments on your WordPress site, okay? So just clean everything that is not necessary to you in here on this under comment tab. So let's go to terms. Um, here in the post, under post, um, this is related to posts that you can just delete, okay? But uh, let's say for example there are cache in post meta, you can just delete that one. But if there are some tags which are unused on your WordPress site, you can also delete all of those and some other thing that needs to be deleted if you want to do it so. And under user, let's check. So here we go. You can also delete duplicate users if you do have duplicate ones. And under options, this is very important. Under options, you need to delete all of the uh, transient options. Let's say, for example, after deleting some of the unused plugins on your WordPress site, it leaves some codes that is not necessary. So they will leave um, normally some plugins if you are going to uninstall them. Not all of the files or information about that plugin or plugin will be uninstalled because normally or sometimes they will leave some options or some codes in your WordPress site that needs to be deleted. So you can just go ahead and delete those. And just like me, I am deleting those. It's 17 earlier and it's deleted already. So under plugins and themes, if there are unnecessary plugins or inactive plugins, you can just delete those but make sure that you do um, before doing all of this because you can you cannot redo this process so you need to back up your WordPress site before doing anything in here so under plugins if there are inactive plugins you can see it in here as on my end I have two um, unused or inactive plugins so I don't want to delete those because I'm pretty sure I, those two plugins are important for me, okay? In the near future, I will activate those. So, but for the theme, 
it shows up in here that there are two unused theme. If we are going to check in here under under appearance, you uh, we will be able to see those inactive themes which is still inside our WordPress site. So it consumes it consumes space. Here we go. These are the two themes that I don't like to stay inside of my WordPress site. So I'm going to delete these two themes. And here we go. It's deleted as well. So I'm going to refresh my WordPress site. Okay, after refreshing my WordPress site, it shows up in here. Since I have just deleted the two themes earlier in here, so the available two themes earlier were deleted already. So that's how easy it is. Aside from that, you can also delete medias, okay? So if there are unused medias, this one or this plugin will detect those unused medias which are not connected to your post. Like if you have images which are not related or connected to your pages or posts, those will be detected in here. And once it's detected, it's up to you if you're going to delete those or if you want to leave those there inside your WordPress site. So it's still loading up and we will just wait. I think I need to um, clear up my cache. Okay, I need to reload it again because I have just deleted the cache of my WordPress site. Here we go. They have already these ones are already detected inside my WordPress sites. These are the these are the images which are not connected to any posts or pages. Before you do anything in here inside this media, inside this media tabs, if you are going to delete anything, uh, make sure that before you do that, you have already saved or you have already backed up your WordPress site. Because let's say for example, if you're going to delete all of this, this one is connected, though it's not connected or related to my post or page, it is a favicon of my WordPress site, just like what you can see in here. If you see my mouse as I hover over, this one is the favicon of my WordPress site. So I don't want to delete this one, okay? And aside from that, this one as well, this footer logo, I don't want to delete these two items in here. So make sure that you know what you're doing inside in here. This is only the negative side of this plugin. It detects all the uh, files or all the images which are not connected to your post or pages, but what about those images which are being used as a logo or a favicon? It will be included in here, okay? So, but it's okay, here we go. Um, let me give you an example. These four, these four images, I don't need these images. If you're going to open up the library of my media, you will see, uh, you will see that it is not connected to anything. Aside from this, it shows up that it's unattached. It's unattached to my posts or pages, but it's being used as my favicon. And these four, I don't need these four, so I'm going to delete those, those four in here. And click on bulk delete, okay? Apply. So once it's deleted, you and once you're going to refresh this, these four are already deleted here we go so um, I, okay aside from medias you can also go to files if there are files which are not necessary you need you can just delete those okay so um, here we go let's say for example normally this wp dash config dash sample that php is not important this is just a duplicate to the original one okay this one this needs not to be deleted okay as what you can see it's green color it's very important this one's in here this is for as long as as long as they are orange or yellow orange and green do not delete those okay those are important but if there is corresponding red button in line with the um, file that you have in here you can delete those okay so just like this one it shows up that it's useless okay it's useless file you can delete this and this and also you can delete this sample uh, wp config sample 
so you can delete that one okay just like what I'm doing right now it's removing okay here we go it's already deleted and nothing happens on my WordPress site it's not affected it still works so that's how easy it is that's how good this plugin is okay actually there are some other plugin which is better than this one okay but however they lack functionality as this one have okay so that's why I like this one because of the simplicity uh, one of the negative things that I see in this plugin is that it doesn't have any feature which you can set up a schedule okay you can auto schedule for this plugin to function itself automatically so that's the negative side of this plugin compared to others but however I like the simplicity of this plugin and of course um, on my end there are let's say for example these options there are some options in here that other plugin or other plugins doesn't have so I hope you have learned something from this tutorial so if you found this video helpful please give us like subscribe and share this with others that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.